Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we will provide you another mock interview to help you prepare for your citizenship interview. This mock interview is based on actual applicant experience from the naturalization interview. Your naturalization interview will probably be different, but this will give you a general idea of the interview format and what you should expect. Hi, Miss. How can I assist you today? Hello, I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Here is your waiting number. Here is your appointment letter and your green card. Thank you. Please have a seat. We will call your name when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You're welcome. Good afternoon, Miss Pamela. Good afternoon, officer. I'm Immigration Officer James, and I will conduct your interview today. How are you today? I'm great and a bit nervous. You shouldn't be nervous. You will do fine. Thank you. Please come in and remain standing. I need you to take the oath. You can put your belongings next to your chair. Thank you. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Great. Please have a seat. Thank you. Great. Can I please have your appointment letter, green card, and state issued ID? Sure, here they are. But my state-issued ID expired last month. Is that a problem? That's not a problem. Can you confirm your first and last name, please? Pamela D'Olivera. First, we will start with the civics test portion and the English reading and writing test. Then, we will review your application to make sure all your information is accurate and up-to-date. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't. Great. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I have studied since submitting my application three months ago. Great then you should have no problem. I'll ask up to 10 questions, and you will pass if you can get six answers correct. And you can just provide one answer. Let's start with the first question. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. That's correct. When must all men register for the Selective Service? Between 18 and 26. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Four years. Not correct. It is two years, not four years. Here is another question. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Great. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Correct. 
Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Good. What was one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. Right. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Last question. What are the two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. I think you did well with the history and government tests. Now, I'm going to show you a sentence on the screen, and I want you to read it back to me. What is the largest state in the United States? Great. Now listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say, and I want you to write it down on the tablet. Alaska is the largest state in the United States. Alaska is the largest state in the United States. Excellent. You passed the English reading and writing test as well. Now, let's go over your application form. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? Since December 15, 2020. How did you get your green card? I got my green card through my husband. Is your husband an American citizen? Yes, he is an American citizen. He was born here. What is your current husband's legal name? William Smith. What is your current husband's date of birth? October 11, 1990. How long have you been married? More than three years. When did you get married? February 20th, 2020. Where did you get married? Henderson, Nevada. Can I see your marriage certificate? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Is this your only marriage? Yes, it is. Does your current husband have any previous marriages? No. Do you have any kids with your current husband? Yes, we have twin boys and one girl. Can you confirm their names for me, please? Evan. Ryan and Anna. Where were they born? Henderson, Nevada. Okay. Can I see their birth certificates, please? Sure. Here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get back to your personal information. Have you used any other names? No, I haven't. Do you want to legally change your name at this point? Yes, I want to change my last name and get my current husband's last name. So, what is his last name again? Smith. Okay. 
What is the first and last name that you want to be in your certificate of naturalization? My first name is Pamela, and my last name is Smith. Okay. You want Pamela Smith as your new name on your certificate of naturalization, is that correct? Yes, correct, officer. Okay, let me update that. Thank you. Can you verify the last four digits of your social security number, please? 1855. Can you confirm your day of birth, please? November 06, 1993. And where were you born? Brazil. What is your phone number? 587-659-9623. Do you still live at 2305 Horizon Ridge Parkway, Henderson? Yes, I do. How long have you been living there? Since 2020. What is your previous address? 56 Calamus, Staffed 1, Henderson. What do you do for a living? I'm not working currently. I am home taking care of the kids. What did you do before that? I was a housekeeper. And where did you work? Superb maids. How long did you work for them? About one year. How many days did you spend outside the United States during the last three years? 30 days. And how many total trips did you take outside of the U.S. during the last three years? One trip. And tell me the dates of your most recent trip and where was that? I went to Brazil on January 1st, 2021 and came back on February 1st of the same year. What was the purpose of your last trip? Visiting my parents and family. Have you taken any trips since you submitted your application form? No. Now, let's review some questions from Part 12 of the N-400 application. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote? No, never. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Yes, I do, but I have a payment plan with the IRS. Do you have a notice from the IRS? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No, I haven't. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Did you otherwise ever serve in a prison camp, detention facility, or labor camp? No. Did you ever make another person feel terrible pain? No. Did the police ever take you to jail or make you pay a fine? 
No, never. Did immigration police ever take you to a place like a prison? No. Did you ever break the law, help someone break the law, or try to break the law but you were not arrested? No, never. Did you ever sell, give, or help someone get weapons? No, never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Did you ever play games for money outside a legal casino or racetrack? No, never. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No, I haven't. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Congratulations. You've passed all the tests and met all the requirements to be a U.S. citizen. Now, please take a look at your application on the tablet and make sure everything is accurate. And you will go ahead and sign and date on the bottom. And here is a copy of your test result, your green card, and your ID. Thank you. You're welcome. So, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't think so. Now, I will be submitting your application for approval. You should hear from USCIS within the next two weeks for your oath ceremony. Congratulations again. Thank you again.